What's up guys? Welcome to Crew TV Vlogging. I'm your host. Well, not your host, but I'm the guy you're going to be following for the full day. So let's go ahead and get on it. I just got my day started. It's about noon. What did I have for breakfast, you're asking? A bowl of Fruity Pebbles cereal. The diet starts today. That's not the best thing to have for a diet, but cereal is better than pizza, right? Anyway, walking around, wearing the Royal Lowe's today. I'm just filling you guys in on unnecessary stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm about to go ahead to the Glendale Mall right now because I want to enter the raffle for the CP3 Jordan 13s. I love those shoes. I'm super excited that they're releasing. Pretty limited, I hear, but uh, hopefully I can get them. I'm not a big fan of any other Jordan rather than the ones right now. And uh, I love the sixes, I love the 12s. Uh, 11s are the m most popular, but I'm not too crazy about them. Uh, 13s were the second Jordans I ever had when I was younger. I had the playoff 13s, and I just love that they're release releasing a PE. So. And it's a Chris Paul PE that's from when he was on New Orleans, which is so dope to me. Because during that time when he was on New Orleans, it was like one of my favorite few seasons of the NBA. Like when Lakers were still on top. Every team had one good player rather than all these powerhouse teams. So, yeah man, it's pretty cool. This is the second week that I've been in LA. This is the first week that we're going to start banging out and filming some dope videos. And yes, you guys are saying my haircut is ugly. And I don't care. It's cool. I like it now. You feel me? Anyway, um, this is the second week that I'm in LA officially and it's time to start filming. So tomorrow I'm going to be filming a, my, an experiment that I've been having. <sighs> I can't freaking talk today. Tomorrow I'm going to be filming an experiment that I'm super excited to do because I've been thinking about this idea for a while now and I can finally execute it. Um, this weekend we're going to be banging out a lot of videos. We have a special guest that might be coming to town. I'm trying to hype that up for you guys so you will see who it is when he or she is here um but yeah man it feels good to finally be settled in and to start uh finally hustling and getting this grind mode on for for you guys and to start filming you guys some new main channel videos so if all goes right there will be a new main channel video this sunday if there is not my apologies there will be one next sunday so let's get it going all right so we just made it to the Glendale Mall, where not we, me alone, about to hit up this Flight 23 store. I believe there's only seven Flight 23 stores in the world, and this is one of the seven that is getting the CP3. So, so I just entered the raffle. Hopefully it's not rigged and the employees don't take the winning tickets, but it's all good. Hopefully it comes through. So I'm just going to make a round around the mall, even though I don't really need to buy anything, and just see what I can come up on. Hell yeah, I'm so happy. I love this weather. I love the rain. It's hoodie season, baby. I love this. I cannot wait. I need to buy myself a new jacket. I always talk about buying clothes, man. I need to stop, honestly, but I love it, man. I love this weather, dude. And I can't wait to go to New York in January. Guys, I'm going to New York in January. Not for an event or anything, but I'll tell you guys later, but I got him in the back when that back I got him catch your feelings. Okay, we out to Ikea, yo. We out to Ikea. Oh shit, did it say no turn on red? Turn right. Turn right. Alright guys, so we're out here in Glendale at Ikea. It's raining right now. But um Yeah man, one thing I really need, I need a bed frame and I need a table. So I know I'm gonna get a table today. I don't know if I'm gonna get a bed bed frame because I don't know if it's gonna fit in my car. And on top of that. This car is about to hit me. I don't. What are you doing, man? Come on, fucking idiot. And on top of that, um, I don't have a car. Uh, wait, I don't. I forgot what I was saying. That freaking car almost hit me. Um, so yeah, my camera's getting soaking wet. So I gotta wait till we get inside here. So I'm back home, guys, in my laundry room right now. About to go to my kitchen. Um, we just refurnished every. Yo, what the hell is this, man? Since when did IKEA become so expensive? It's like freaking, freaking like 60 bucks for a table when I bought my last one from here. 20 bucks, literally. When I lived in LA last time, I bought a white table from here for freaking, for freaking 20 bucks. Now it's like 60 bucks. This is the cheapest one. But this is dope. I just don't know what I would use this for. IKEA, I'm really disappointed in you. You turned your back on me. You gave me a table for 20 bucks, I come back, and in return you give me a table for 60 bucks? Uh-uh. 
That's not how it works, fam. This relationship's over. I'm going back to Target. No, I'm not going to Target today, but... Wait, is this? Okay. Anyway, I'm leaving this bitch. So LeBron just became the youngest player to reach 25,000 points. So the Nike ID dropped the special LeBron 13 option. And I pulled over so I could make one. So I designed my own. And uh, let me show you guys what I made mine like. Because there's only one option that I liked as far as the body. So I made mine like that right there. So I don't know if I'm going to keep them or not. But I just wanted to hop on it quick before it sold out. So... I don't know, hopefully it doesn't sell out, you know, I feel like they should just let it be up there for a while, but a lot of people are going to cop to resell, and I don't know if I'm going to resell them or not, but I'm going to see how they look in person. Give y'all a review for Crew Kicks, that was the main reason I did it, I was just like, you know what, this would be good for Crew Kicks to have it on there. And I'm interested to see how Harris designs his, because he's designing his right now, hopefully he can cop it before it sells out, I don't know what's going to happen, I don't know if it's going to sell out or not, but the Mamba moment sold out, so hopefully this one does not. When the cops around, Warner brother. So I didn't buy anything from Ikea. I went to the mall, didn't buy anything, entered the raffle. Basically, my whole day was me driving around. So I decided to treat myself to a movie. So I'm going to the movies by myself. And I wanna know why is it, why is it weird to go to the movies alone when it's a place where we don't even socialize with each other? We just sit and we watch a screen like, why are people afraid to go to the movies alone? I'm not. This is actually like the third time I've came to the movies alone because I really want to watch the Steve Jobs movie and nobody else is really down to go. So I'm going by myself. I'm at the Grove. <sighs> what up, y'all? Just left the movie theater. I just got finished watching Jobs. It was a cool movie. Uh, it wasn't what I expected. I was expecting more of events of his life, but this was more of like, it was like a, Literally the whole movie took place in three different days over a 20 year span or 15 year span, which was cool. I mean, it was something different, but it was cool. I mean, I don't know if I'd recommend you to watch it until it came out on DVD, but. Yo, what's up guys? So, what's up? Um, currently 10 a.m. Well, it's almost 10 a.m. I gotta go move my car. The thing about where I live is that I don't have guaranteed parking, so sometimes in the neighborhood itself there's no parking, so I gotta park on the street, wake up early, and go move my car so I don't get a ticket. But anyway, I just wanted to do a quick outro for you guys. I know yesterday's vlog, or today's vlog, wasn't the best. There's gonna be days when it's typically me just alone in LA, out and about. What are you looking at, man? If it's funk, let me know. Um, so hopefully you, hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. If not, you know, tomorrow's a new day. I mean, today's a new day. Um, is there anything I want to talk to you guys about? Um, so next week I'm starting something new in my life that I'm super excited to bring you guys with me on the road to the top. Um, and uh, yeah man that's pretty much it this was just a quick outro to say thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys tomorrow today I'm going to be filming a video uh, I'm about to be heading out pretty in like two hours so I gotta go edit this I'm gonna edit uh, I gotta film a crew kicks video because champ sports sent me my first pair of shoes shout out to champ sports if you guys didn't know they sponsor uh, youtubers and they send them, uh, they send them, oh I thought my car was missing for like point one second. So basically Champ Sports gets in contact with all the sneaker YouTubers and they send them some shoes every once in a while. And they added the boy to the list. So within two weeks when Crew Kicks first started, two weeks after Crew Kicks started, no the second week after Crew Kicks started, Champ Sports hit me up and they said hey we want to add you to a very exclusive list of people and we're gonna send you products. So they finally sent me my first product and it's a running shoe which is kind of out of my comfort zone but hey man, it's, you know, it is what it is and I'm still blessed to be a part of this list I'm super excited. So you'll see that probably tomorrow on Crew Kicks. And uh, yeah man, that's it for today. And uh, it's actually, before I do go, I wanna say, 
before we started crew kicks months before we started crew kicks i would watch other youtubers sneaker youtubers receive these packages from champ sports i know this is not the biggest deal in the world but it was like i need to be on that list i already make sneaker related content on my second channel when i before i launched crew kicks and i was like why why am i not on this list now we launched crew kicks and within one week of launching it we got on that list so thank you champs for blessing us thank you to you guys for getting us to this part to this success getting us this success on crew kicks this early into the channel and if you want something guys you freaking go get it because anything is possible man i came to la to live this dream and we are gonna take advantage of that I'm gonna take advantage of it. So if you wanna make something possible, man, don't let anybody tell you not to. If there's a ticket on my front, digital dash, there isn't. I love you guys, man. Hope you guys have a great day. Chase your dreams, cause we are the dream crew. We are the crew. We are the family. I'm out of here, love you guys. I'm tired. World heavyweight champion. I give you a and what is zero. This video? I give I'm you a Seth negative. Rollins. You give me a negative? Eight. No respect for the champion right now. This is disrespect.